Saxon nobleman paid some bandits for permission to sneak through these tunnels on their way to Bolingbrook Castle. Mercian nobles made a deal with some bandits, paid them hush money to let them sneak through these caves. When the time came, the bandits ambushed the nobles. But it didn't end well for the bandits. In the struggle, the elderman's cloak was torn off. But he got away. Headed east for Bolingbroke Castle. That's my best lead.
Please! What happened? Were you bit? Oh, yes. Snake bit. Just like you. Attack! should not be seen in this area. What do you see, Sunan? Keep is well protected.
Go.
last name we are here for. Hunbeoth is his own prisoner. He's an ill man, leave him be. Besides, we ain't got it too rough. We can hunt in the walls of Lindsay and whore in Botolston. <laughs> too right, too right. I'm done with idle time. Grab some air and let's skin some animals later. Getting tired? Let's end this! There now, my lord. All is prepared. Shall we begin the washing? Hey, who comes? Welcome, stranger. Are you here to pay tribute to our lord, Elderman? I heard voices as I entered. Were you speaking with him? Does his hooger speak through you? I am not sure what to call it precisely. Words form in my mind, and I give them voice. Often, they sound like my dear lord. Can I ask a favor of him? On behalf of his son, Hunvold? You could try, but he never speaks when others are present. Hunvold deserves to know the truth about his father's fate. He is owed an inheritance, and deserves a chance to become Elderman himself. All in good time, I imagine. No, now. When the guards put him in my care, I was told to keep all this a secret. Until the appointed time. When I asked who gave these orders, they struck me. I wish I could say more. I've seen all I need to. But Humboldt will need proof. Of course. You're welcome to search through his effects, though I'm not sure what trinket would best serve your purpose. I'll find something.
dried herbs and berries crushed into powder. The time between my lord's departure and his burial is longer than usual. My lord must keep up appearances for his upcoming rites. A box of musty clothing and a brooch with a crest. The house of the ferocious swan. This will do. I'll return this brooch to Humboldt and Lincoln. I hope the poor boy can withstand such ill news. Foul. Rat droppings everywhere. Even in death, my lord is a friend to all of God's creatures. Take care. And you. I shall take you to your family crypt at Nettleham within Lincoln. There, you may lay beside your forebearers, the great and glorious kings of old Lindsay. Please, do not desecrate our lord. I'm a Dane, not a cruel grief monger. I don't know what this is, and I'd rather not ask. Yes, I thought the same. Troubling.
stay awake. Hey! See you, old friend.
coming here to get back It only saddens you and angers me. You looking to set foot in there? I would not advise it. In my youth, I could. Both of us could. We would not think twice about taking back what is ours. You lived here? It was a fishing village once. Built it with our bare hands, all of it. But bandits drove us out the moment they saw how plentiful the waters were. The fish here are not shy, and they are difficult to sate. You make it hard to resist. I may have to see for myself. It will not be easy. Why not take my wife with you? Stickler would love to raise hell against these dogs. What would it serve? Only a matter of time before more roving bandits catch a whiff of this place. We know. Such is the case in all of Lincolnshire. But it would be a small victory. A chance to dip our feet for a while. All right, I'll take her. Always good to rekindle a flame. On me, Stickler. We will wet your blade with her bones. It is long overdue. All this blood! The waters will run red! Passion Stickler. Difficult to see. Difficult to say. I like it. <laughs> you fight with great passion, Stickler. Children! 
You fight with great passion, Stickler. You're difficult to sate. I like it. Be thrilled. Let us go to him. I am impressed. Stickler is a stout fighter. Worthy enough to raid with the best Rengir. It may be what she is destined for. You honor her. And believe me, I have tried. But she is stubborn. Insists on looking after this old and frail hound. When you die, have her seek me out. <laughs> you jest, but I shall take you up on it. Until then.
Need to cloak myself here. What news? Your father's dead. Wait, what? The sigil of Humbiot's house. I found it near his body. No. No, this cannot be. He was strong. A pillar of Lincolnshire. He cannot be gone. He... He... <laughs> Oh, you poor boy. I'm so, so sorry. I am a man, Archer! Do you hear me? I am a man and I am my father's son! Do not forget it! Keep steady, Hunwald. You're now the head of your house. Another swan takes flight. Only I remain, last in a line of dwindling nobles. I'm sorry, Hunwald. I had already asked a priest to administer last rites when your father disappeared. What? I didn't tell you sooner because I... I thought by some miracle he had survived. You lied to me! You silly, sobbing mooncalf. Will you never grow up? Lord have mercy on that woman. She should have said something. It was her duty to say something. Hunwald was the son of an elderman. Will he take his father's seat? The title's not hereditary, but he can plead his case before a shire moot. King Cheowulf must then ratify the decision. Explain how this works, your shire moot. A moot is a meeting of lords. We convene from time to time to steer the course of our shire. It was always my intention to convene a moot, but between our troubles in Lincoln and the bandits' raids, we slipped into a pattern of convenience. Someone in the Shire wants Hunwald dead. If I have to assemble an army to make sure this meeting is not an ambush, I will. The Shire mood is a lawful, godly assembly. Hunwald will be safe, as will you be. Apart from Hunwald, who else will stand for the ultimate seat? If I may be so bold, I should like to put my name forward. Under my care, this Shire has found some peace this past month. I will offer my name as well. My family has ancient ties to this land. And I am proud to say I have forged quite a friendship with the Danes to the north. Good. My priests will spread word of the moot across the Shire and will convene in a few days' time. Uh, do visit my estate, Eivor. I have something for you. Something I think you'll enjoy. I'll find the time. Eivor! A word, if you don't mind. Is the word Christ or pagan? Oh, I deeply regret my churlish ways when we first met. 
I did not treat you as my god commands. With kindness and love? Love is a difficult feeling to command. Yes, quite. In any case, thank you for putting this mystery to rest. I do hope we'll see you at the moot. With Hunbioth's death an open secret, Hunwald's enemies may strike again. I should find him before they do. Nadja went to console him. I should follow her. Sure. Guards here are vigilant. What? Mistake! I've told you my name is not Hoonwald, it's Roderick! And I've told you to shut your flappers! Yeah! 
by Odin, the Nethin curse is My brother!
not enough that you are dead weight. I have to listen to your babbling as well. Spread your wings soon. Thank you. 
Must be careful. Eva, Eva, wake up! Hey! Oh, it's you! And time me quick! Bent over the barrel of another adventurer, see? This is his fault. I told him they looked like bandits, but he insisted on cheating them out of coin. We need to leave. Some of them went to fetch firewood. They will be back any moment. There is no we in this. Your brother, your problem. What? No, please. Look at him. He is dead weight. Dead weight soon. You should hurry. If I have to carry him, we will never make it out of here alive. Please.
Your brother is lucky I like you. There may not be much between your ears, but you are not the problem here. Thank you? Um, this way. Think again, Saxon filth. There is no besting these sons of Ragnar. Soon the world will know us by name. A sleep talker. Just what I needed. See this? Do you see it? This blade was forged by Grundle. Grundle Thundersmith. Greatest of all blacksmiths. One nick, and your life essence will shoot out of you like a gazer from the depths of Norway. You laugh. Am I a joke to you? Do I look like a jester? That is what I thought. You will think again before laughing behind my back. No one laughs at me. No one. Cast him aside when this is done. For your sake. is far enough. You can put him down. Look! There! Stay close to me. This is where we part ways. Yes. My... my thanks. Thank you. Stop thanking me, and listen closely. This life does not suit you. There are people out there who would kill you over these petty squabbles. This I have realized. If your idiot brother hatches another one of his glory-seeking plans, take your fist and slam it right between his eyes. Or better yet, punch him in his cock. He will listen. Punch his cock. Yes. That should get the point across. Thank you. Uh, you will never see us again. Good. What? 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 What is? Ah, we made away with the coin, didn't we? Poor fools. Clever than we look, eh? Where are you going, brother? You must tell the details of this great victory. I am going home. 
Welcome to my estate, old friend. Thane Elfgard. It's an impressive amount of land you oversee. Quite right. I often get lost swimming to my island in this flowing sea of wheat. You're flush with land and crops, to be sure. You're a brave man to flaunt your riches from this lonely hill. It's not bravery, it's trust. I trust the respect I've earned keeps Saxon and Dane alike from temptation. You said you had something to show me when we last spoke. What did you mean? Yes, I did. Observe. This fine specimen belonged to our beloved elderman, Hunbeort, before his untimely passing. He left it here when we last hunted together. I now wish you to have it. It's a beautiful weapon. Finely crafted. Thank you. I thought you might like it. Now, now, take it and come, Heather. I have a rousing hunt planned for the two of us. Leave aside talk of politics and shire moats. Let us enjoy the fruits of my land together. We're hunting or fruit picking? Both, if you like. Whatever you fancy. I'm generous with the yields of my estate, as you will see. To be plain, A4, a great bear has been badgering my estate for weeks. I must do away with it, if only to prevent a future tragedy. You brought me here to hunt a bear? Yes, and I'm so pleased you agreed to come. I suspect you know better than most that I have what it takes to lead this shire. Though its line of kings is old but ended, the people of this land still teems with life, with promise. But today, the shire languishes. It needs the guidance of new blood. Like me. I'm sorry? I'm the definition of new blood. It may be I should put my name in for Elderman. <laughs> ah, there it is, that dark sense of humor. Blood is a hammer, eh? Like the one carried by your... Uh, your thunder god. Uh, uh, I don't recall the name. Go on. say is, I enjoy the company of your people. Sure. Or people like you. What little I've seen of them. And I don't care what stuffy fools like Herovriv and Unwald say. Wonderful to see you here. What a pleasant surprise. What surprise? I came as you requested. Ah, uh, yes, and how is Grimsby? 
How are all the other Danes? I can't speak for all Danes, but I am well, and itching for a hunt as you made plain in your message this morning. Yes, that's right, very good. Uh, speaking of Danes, I'd like to introduce you to Eivor. Uh, perhaps you know each other, as one Dane to another. Don't be frightened, Grim, but I believe Elfgard has arranged for us to meet. Oh, goodness, I've been discovered. But it's nothing untoward, I promise. I'm an honest man, and I believe that all people should live together in harmony. That's all. Hey, Leivor, did he lure you here as well with the promise of a hunt? He... Yes, hunting a bear! That's the point of all this. We're hunting, I promise. There's a cave just up the hill there. Seems a likely place for a lair. If the beast is as large as Elfgard claims, it'll take all three of us to bring it down. I'm game. Let's get a new fur cloak, shall we? There's all manner of beasts in this forest. If we don't find the bear, we'll find something worth our supper. I have a divine rule over the land on my estate. God shall provide. Have no worry. This is the threshold of the beast's home. There's no doubting that. <laughs> Wolves. be a sea of fire. Eivor! You're skilled enough and I can't tell you how to handle this, but yeah! please! My God, help me! I'm in this fight with you. Where's Elgar, bloody Dane lover? Search every last house, then burn them in your throat. Men who would see you burn or dead. Let's get these fires out. Agreed. What a mess. A sea of ashes. I thank you, Eivor, for doing what you could. You're a man of many riches, Elfgard. You can rebuild. To be sure. But I do not look forward to the toilet. <laughs> Sweet Lord in heaven! The bear is returned! There 
there, you see? Didn't I promise you a rousing hunt? Brilliant! Simply brilliant! <laughs> 